Hello, welcome to Arvind Singh Academy. Uh, we are discussing problems on determinants, and this is a lecture number 12. We had uh, solved questions from exercise 4.4, 4. 4. Uh, 4. Uh, I think 2, 4. 2, and some questions are still left. So, let us solve those questions that is uh, from exercise problems from exercise exercise 4.2 question number 12 the rest of the question has been discussed in the previous video so please watch them and if there is any problem just ask question number 12 is uh, a question which is given in form of 1 x square x cube x 1 x square and x square x 1 that is also x and uh, that must be equal to you have to prove that 1 minus x cube whole square that you need to so, what we will do here, let me solve this, one minus x cube, one plus x plus x has factor one minus x and one plus x plus x square. So, if I proceed solution, you can see here, solution, if I proceed from c1 tends to c1 plus c2 plus c3 then each row first column will be 1 plus x plus x square 1 plus x plus x square 1 plus x plus x square that will be x1 and x square and this will be x cube x and 1 so now we can take common taking common from taking common 1 plus x plus x square from c1 you have we have what will happen in that case if i take common then it will be 1 plus x plus x square so that will be 1 plus x plus x square and this will be 1 1 1 and x x square 1 x and x square 1 this will come here by mistake I have written x cube so let me write this x square that is nothing else but x square okay so that will be x squared. Now um, we have to bring maximum zero. So what will happen if I write one plus x plus x squared? That is a factor. And now if I proceed that uh, r one minus r two, that is uh, or uh, r three minus one x x squared, that will be zero and 1 minus x or x minus x square that will be again 0 and x square minus x and 1 minus x square what I did here that I have operated the operation was r2 tends to r2 minus r1 and r3 tends to r3 minus r1 so in that case what will come that will be in that case it will be like uh, what will come 1 plus x plus x square and thereafter this will be 1 plus x plus x square and you can have you can rewrite as 1 x x square 0 1 minus x and uh, that will be minus x 1 minus x 
if I take x common, then that would be 1 minus x. Okay, not negative sign. That would be 1 minus x. If I here 0, and if I will take a minus x common, then that would be 1 minus x, and that would be 1 minus x and 1 plus x. I hope you got it. So, 1 minus x and 1 minus x can be taken common from these two. And so, what will happen? 1 minus x whole square into 1 plus x plus x square will be common. So, just write here. Taking, taking 1 minus x common from, common from R2 and R3. We have what will happen? In that case, that will be 1 minus x whole square into 1 plus x plus x square. That will be the factor and here it will be 1, 0, 0, x, x square, 1, 1 minus x is been taken, x and that will be minus x and here it will be 1 plus x. Now expanding along first column. Expanding along C1, we have what will happen? We have this cancel and this cancel. So, what will happen? 1 minus x, the whole square. 1 minus x, whole square, and uh, 1 plus x plus x square. And if I am expanding along this one, then what will happen? This cancel and this cancel. And you will have only this multiply by this minus this. So, in that case, that will be 1 plus x and minus of minus x square, that will be plus x square. So, that can be written as 1 minus x, 1 plus x plus x square and whole square because there are 2 1 plus x plus x square and 2 1 minus x whole square. This is the formula of what? That is the formula of 1 minus x cube and a square is there. So, this is RHS and that is good. I hope you got it. Now, the next question that is a bit difficult then try to understand this. Okay. Now, the next question is here and the question is like uh, question number 13 is there and what is that 1 minus a square minus b square 2ab and 2ab. Then 2ab 1 minus a square plus b square and 2ab. There is only B. There is only B given. Okay. Minus 2 in fact. So 2AB and 2A. And now that will be 2B minus 2A and 1 minus A square minus B square. And here it was plus. So that will be the way. Right? And that has to go here like uh, this is what. And that has to go here that. Okay. So now this has to be proved is equal to. 1 plus a square plus b square whole to the power 3. That you have to do. So, how to deal with this situation? Let me think about the question that if this is a 1 plus a square minus b square, if you multiply by b and add this 2, then what will happen? Subtract this, then this will be. Um, 1 plus a square plus 2b square and if you multiply by this b then 2ab and 2ab cancel and if you multiply by b then that also there will be 1 plus a square plus b square will come. Again 
uh, if you multiply by a and subtract from this, then also the same situation will come. So we can think over the question that uh, C1 tends to C1 minus B C A C3. C1 minus A C3, A times of C3. And C2 tends to C2 minus C1 B times of C3. Here B times of C3 and C2 tends to C2 minus A times of C3. Then what will happen? In that case, that will be C what will come. Here uh, the things will come like One and uh, we'll come here. See that there is two lines, and now the things will come. That is a one minus b c three. So b times of that minus minus plus. So it will be one plus a square plus b square here. If you subtract multiply by b this and b. 2ab minus 2ab it will be 0. So that will be 0. And here it will be 2b times if I will be take common then that will be 2b 1 plus a square plus b square. That will come. Again if c2 minus a times of c3 then that will be 0. And that will be 1 minus a square plus b square and minus 2a square. So that will be it should be plus it should be plus a there should be plus so that that will be two a square so two a b and two a b minus two a b and plus two a b zero and this will be plus two a square so it will be one plus a square plus b square I hope you got it. And the third one will be this will be plus, so minus can be taken common, and that will be minus a can be taken common and 1 plus a square plus b square, right? So that will be minus 2b 2a and 1 minus a square minus b square. Now I can take 1 plus a square plus b square from column 1 and column 2. So taking 1 plus a square plus b square common. Now taking 1 plus a square plus b square common. Then that will be uh, here 1, 0, b. That will be 0, 1, minus a. And minus 2b, 2a, 1 minus a square minus b square. So again two things has taken common now we can expand expanding along now expanding along c1 we have what is that 1 plus a square plus b square whole square now if i am going to expand this then that will come 1 into this cancel this cancel so what is that that is 1 minus a square minus b square and multiplication of these two will be there. This minus this. So minus of that will be plus 2 a square. So that will be plus 2 a square. And second b times of this cancel, this cancel. In that case 0 multiply by 2 a is 0. So 0 minus minus 2 that is plus 2. So this will come. So the things will come like things will come like 1 plus a square plus b square whole square and that will be 1 2 a square minus a square is plus a square minus b square and b multiply with 2b is 2b square 
and so the things will come a square b square whole square into 1 plus a square plus b square and the output will be 1 plus a square plus b square whole to the power 3 and that is so I hope you got it this is question number 16 14 and now the next question is there 14 question number 14 so I am writing here question number 14 and that is given here a square plus 1 a b a c a b a c b a square plus 1 and b c that will be b c and c a square plus 1 is equal to you have to prove 1 plus a square plus b a square plus c a square how to deal with this question let me explain because here is a square b square c square only so we can multiply the first row by a so that it will be also a square a square second row by b and third row by c so multiplying 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 r1 r2 r3 by a b c respectively then what will happen in that case it will be that will come here a into a square plus 1 a square b a square c that is a b square multiply by b a b square b square plus 1 into b and that will be b square c and since multiply by this is c so that would be a c square and c square b and that will be c into c square plus 1 into c since I have multiplied by a b c so we should divide by a b c right now we should divide it by a b c as well let me write this side that will be a b c sorry a b c 1 upon a b c because I have multiplied so I have to divide now we can take col column wise common A and B from here and C from here, there. So taking A, B, C common from C1, C2 and C3 respectively, what will happen? In that case, that will be A square plus 1 a square a square b square c square that will be b square plus 1 and uh, that will be also b square and since b has been taken common from here so c square and that will be c square plus 1 i hope you got it now since in result we need to prove 1 plus a square plus b square so how it will come how it will come 1 plus a square plus b square plus c square obviously you have seen here that uh, adding all these r1 tends to r1 plus r2 plus r3 then this will come so we can write here r1 tends to r1 plus r2 plus r3 right so write the next step r1 tends to r1 plus r2 plus r3 in that case the first row will be what 1 plus a square plus b square plus c square 1 plus a square plus b square plus c square 1 plus a square plus b square plus c square that will be b square c square b square plus 1 c square b square and c square plus 1 and that will be so taking 1 plus a square plus b square common from r1 taking 
1 plus a square plus b square plus c square from R1 we have we have what will come in that case And uh, here also, yeah. right here also. Let me write one. This one. Okay. Now uh, you will get it by taking common one plus a square plus b square plus c square you have what is that 1 1 1 b square c square b square plus 1 c square and b square c square plus 1 that we need to write so we will write i hope you got it okay Right, so we can write it. Now, uh, see what was happened that uh, you need to bring zeros. So, needless to say that you should write uh, c two minus c one and c three minus c one. So again, you can proceed like c two tends to c two tends to c two minus c one and c three tends to c three minus c one. In that case, it will be 1 plus a square plus b square plus c square. That will be 1 b square c square. This will be 0. And if b square is subtract then 1, and that will be 0. If I subtract then 0, b minus square minus b square 0. And c square, if I subtract, that will be 1. Now, expanding along R1, then what will happen? If you expand along R1, then it will come like this multiply by this minus this so 1 minus 0 that is 1. So expanding along R1 on expanding along R1 on expanding along R1 we have 1 plus a square plus b square plus c square into 1 minus 0 that is 1. So this will be also 1 minus 0, that is 1 plus a square plus, plus b square plus c square plus c square. I hope you got it. Now uh, there is some more question I would like to take on. And these are some question of conceptual type. That is question number, this is an objective question which is given in your book. So question number 15. Let A be any square matrix. Let A be any a square matrix. A square matrix of order 3 into 3. Order 3 into 3. Then K is equal to. Then K A determinant is equal to. Determinant of K. So since that must be equal to since a is a matrix and multiply by k then all the rows and columns will multiply by k so there are three so where you find the determinant that will be kq so solution will be kq because it is a determinant of order three so k multiply by k multiply by k there will be k common in each of the row and hence determinant of A will be there. So that is KQ times of determinant of A. So this will be KQ times of determinant of A and that is given in option C, which is given in option C and so of C is answer. Now there is question number 16 and that question is given, which of the following is correct? Which of the following 
following is correct. Is correct. This is what they are asking. So the things which is given here that there are some statements and statement A was given that determinant is a square matrix. Determinant is a square matrix. B option is given here that determinant is a number associated with the matrix. Determinant is a number associated with the matrix. Associated with matrix. And C option was given. Determinant is a number associated to a square matrix. Determinant is a number associated with with a square matrix a square matrix and B option was given none of these so when we find the determinant then you have uh, a number and that is coming out from a square matrix only so C will be the right answer so clearly C will be the right answer. Option C is correct. And hopefully you got this on what you are I'm going to tell you in this topic. So that's all. One more formula um, that is uh, required for finding area of triangle. So to find area of triangle, area of triangle whose vertices are given, you can calculate. This is a very simple formula. You will use it. If A x1 y1, B x2 y2 and C x3 y3 are the vertices of vertices of a triangle, then area of triangle is given by area of triangle is half into determinant of 1 1 1 x1 x2, x3, y1, y2, y3. That if you calculate, you will get the area of triangle. And if area of any triangle is 0, then points are collinear. So wherever you have to prove it, collinear points, then uh, you have to prove that area of triangle is 0. So corollary is that points A, x1, y1, B x2 y2 and C x3 y3 are collinear collinear if area of triangle ABC is 0. So you will use this determinant um, properties of this determinant and definitely will be able to calculate it whether the uh, area of triangle is 0 or not. If area of triangle is 0, then definitely you can say that uh, this is a collinear, these are collinear points because when points lie on a line, then triangle cannot be made and the triangle cannot be made and therefore of course the area of triangle will be 0. So I hope this is not difficult and you have done this in class 11, 10. Uh, also, but uh, here by using the property of determinant you have to deal with. So that will be the question, and here uh, this will be the answer. So uh, the exercise, next exercise is given, and uh, that is on the basis of this 4.3. You can calculate the area of triangle, and simply you have to calculate the determinant. So that's all in this uh, lecture. And uh, we will see in the next uh, class. So, till then, you will revise all the questions uh, related to determinant. And uh, do subscribe this channel and also refer to your friends, nears, peers, so that they will be also benefited. So, see you again.
Thanks. Thanks a lot. God bless.